So I assume you guys have a long PC and you want to turn it around and increase your frames. In today's video, I prepared the best settings to double your FPS on Fortnite. Alright guys, the first thing I want to show you are these Fortnite tweaks. So before I proceed with these tweaks, I just want to give a huge shout out to Lee Stripes, Death Stripes or whatever his name is. And uh, he's basically the whole motivation behind this video and I got every single tweak off of him. So go ahead and check him out, I have his channel in the description. So I also have the tweaks down in the description so you guys can go ahead and download it. So basically the first thing we need to cover right now is the stretch resolutions. So I know there's a lot of Fortnite pros out there, for example Peter Bot and Agent Jeff who use like custom Fortnite um, resolutions. So I think, pretty sure Peter Bot won FCS by using 70 20 by 1080 the next step to get better FPS is using the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. As I mentioned, huge shout out to Lee Stripes for the making of these tweaks. I've also been using them and I confirm they work. The tweaks are down in the description guys. So what you guys need to do is first of all download it obviously and extract the, extract the NVIDIA Profile Inspector.exe and just open it guys. Okay so what you need to do from here now on is go over here on profiles. I know this looks a little complicated but I promise you it's really not. So go over here on profiles and what you guys need to do is just type in Fortnite and make sure that this bar right here is completely green guys. What you guys need to do right now is click on import user defined profiles right here. Just click on import profiles and just click on comprofile.nip and already the base settings are imported but there's some settings that I want to talk to you guys about for example the uh, maximum pre-render frames so if you have a really really terrible PC I would advise you to switch over to use the 3 day application setting but if you have a mid NPC or a high NPC one should work for you perfectly fine the next setting is texture filtering filtering driver co uh, control uh, LOD bias so make sure this is turned on off because it's really really um, useless in my opinion so let's talk about texture filtering and go over here and what you guys need to do is hold on let me just explain everything the closer you guys get to a thousand like the better your quality is gonna be so me personally i use 10,000 because for me it's like a sweet spot you know what i'm saying select what you guys are comfortable with using i would advise you go ahead and apply everything and uh, experiment with these settings so what you guys can do from here now on is simply just click on apply changes okay the next thing we have is the clean pc so what you guys can do right now is just simply open the administrator and just click on yes so what you guys need to do is just uh click on temporary files and just select the next thing you guys need to do is just click on enter and let's go with prefetch files now follow along because you don't really have to do everything so just do prefetch uh, files right here so we do one four and now uh, we got eight just click on uh, eight right now so we also did that and the last thing we need to do is select uh, nine as you guys can see for dark text shader cache so just select nine and I uh, just click on uh, enter and let's just wait for it to actually optimize next thing we have are these registry tweak, uh, tweaks right here and uh, let's just run them also as, also as an administrator okay so you guys will you you guys will probably be like confused what to do right now and simply just click on one okay and uh you guys will see everything that's going to be disabled right here and uh if you guys like just select one and you realize that you actually don't want some of these disabled you could just revert it back to the default settings by pressing two and everything will go back to normal so the last thing we need to do right now is just uh, go over low performance visuals we we'll just quickly open it okay and just click on run so just basically click on continue guys and that is pretty much it for the first tweak guys okay guys the next step to actually get better fps what you guys need to do is simply go over here and just type in simply type in performance yeah that should be good just click on that okay and the next thing you guys need to do is open up the task manager and just follow along guys and go over here on performance and what you guys need to do right now is just click on memory as you guys can see, I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. So what you guys need to do right now, go over here on advanced and just click on change and make sure you take this, okay? So for this to actually work, what we need to do is actually we need to have a calculator right here. So yeah, that should be good right now. Let me just click on custom size right now. And uh, what you guys need to do is just follow along. So I have 16 gigabytes of RAM and I'm just gonna time it per 1000 and uh, 24. That is 16,384. So just go ahead and copy that. Okay, so we got 16,384. So what you guys need to do right now, just copy and paste it right here. 
and for the maximum size what you guys need to do right now is literally just time it per two and it should be 32,768 uh, so i just want to mention that for every single one of you guys it's going to be different so don't copy mine you literally just click on set and that is pretty much it guys so just click on ok and you can pretty much close this another couple of couple small tips i want to show you guys so I'll go over here and just type in power plan and so basically what you guys need to do right now is just literally ignore this and just click on change address power settings up right here and as you guys can see there's a lot of um settings right here so i assume yours should be set to like balanced so in my opinion what you guys need to do is just go over here on high performance and just click on apply i already have it applied guys so i'm not going to be going to be doing that right now what you need to do is just go back right here and uh, you're gonna find your preferred plans so i assume yours should be like uh, set to balanced but if you have high performance right here which you should have obviously what you need to do is just select high performance so another thing that i want to sneak in is that if you have custom additional plans for example i have one right now but i'm not using it you can find plenty of uh, custom like high performance um additional plans stuff like that online so download one of them and uh, just test them out to see which one is going to work for you the best all right guys the last and final tip i want to show you is basically go over here and just type in display and just open it okay so find the graphic session right here and uh, the first thing we need to do is go over here and change default graphic settings and make sure you enable both these hardware accelerated gpu scheduling and uh, optimizations for windows games so once you guys have done that what you need to do is go back to graphics and uh, go over here on a uh, browse and try to locate fortnite.exe okay okay so once you guys have located fortnite client uh dash 164 dash shipping dot exe as you guys can see and what you need to do right now is just click on options and select high performance you just click on save and that's pretty much it guys all right guys thank you so much for watching this video it's been your boy chopper and i really hope you guys first frames were increased by at least 10 to 20 fps so just as always it's been your boy chopper have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys next time